Hey Techno Studs, up until now we've been using pass keys on our wireless LANs. That is, we're using WPA and we're using it with the pass key. And what that allows us to do is a simple way for our clients to connect to our wireless networks. All we have to do is give them a pass key and then they can connect in. Now the problem is, is that this key can be passed around to whoever and they can get onto the network. It's not necessarily the most ideal scenario when it comes to enterprise networks. Instead, we'd rather them authenticate with a username and password or authenticate with some sort of certificate using a, some sort of outside services. And so what we're gonna cover today is what some of those outside services look like, specifically RADIUS. Let's look at how to set up RADIUS on our wireless LAN controllers and then how to apply it to our different wireless LANs. So to set this up, we are going to go to our security tab. And within our security tab, we see quite a few different options. And there is a lot of security options here, but specifically we're looking at this triple A section, which is authentication, authorization, and uh, accounting. And so we see that there are several different options and different ways that we can set up. As an example, we can set up Mac filtering and filter based off of Mac addresses, which is not necessarily a great way to do the filtering, but it is a step. It is a, a, a element of security on our network. And the reason why it's not a great way to do this is because Mac addresses can be easily copied and, and replicated. So uh, that presents some problems there. But one thing we can do is RADIUS is a well used standard that's out there to connect different devices for authentication. And so we could set this up to, for instance, connect into an Active Directory server that has RADIUS services running on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually set up, go through the process of setting up a RADIUS server on here. Uh, I don't have a RADIUS server, so we're just gonna go through the motions of this. And you don't need to know this in depth and in really in detail when it comes to the CCNA test, but this just gives you a good idea of, of what it looks like to set it up. So I'm gonna click on this authentication under RADIUS and here we have our servers and we can add a new one here and we'll add a new one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up with an IP address, we'll say it's 10.1.20.46. Here another server that would reside within our uh, server network, so I'm gonna select that. And then what I would do is I would create a key that could be placed on both here and the other, the server, that it was shared. They, they understand the same key so they can uh, communicate. What I've done is I've created this key already and I put it in my key pass here and I'm just going to paste them into here. So I've pasted this into here and I do the same thing on the radius server so these could communicate back and forth. And then, uh, then I'm gonna leave all the other uh, connection or all this other settings just about where they're at. So we're not gonna mess with anything more here and I'll hit apply and I would set up possibly multiple radius servers if I wanted some sort of backup. And there is this uh, you know, order that these will be processed in. So there I have it. Uh, I now can go into this wireless LAN and, or excuse me, I am gonna actually go to, yes, the wireless LAN here. And I'm going to go into this management network or this TKS10 network right here. And so within here, uh, I see the security tab. I'm gonna click on security. And originally this 802.1x was actually checkboxed. And now it's the pass key that's checkboxed. So I'm gonna uncheck the pass key and we're going to instead select 802.1x. And now it will apply the 802.1x. It'll use that list of servers for the authentication me method. So that's how I can set this up, radius set up on this management wireless LAN. Now, if for some reason, if I wanted to go with a different set of servers, I also have this AAA servers here. I can click this tab right here and select 
which server I want to go first, which second, which third, if I don't want the default the way it's set up in the other tab. So what I can do is I can select this and then enable this override, which I don't wanna do, so I'm just gonna select none. In fact, since I don't really have this Radius server up and running, I am not going to uh, use 8021X. I'm gonna keep it as pass key for now. It's just more simplistic that way, so we're gonna keep, uh, keep that. So this is also known as WPA2 Enterprise. WPA2, because that is the uh, policy that we're using to secure this, and then the enterprise side of it is using the 8021X instead of passkey. So in a lot of systems, you'll actually see that as your option is, do you wanna use WPA2 Enterprise or do you wanna use WPA PSK passkey? So those are your options there, and that's how you set a more secure level on your network as you use this WPA2 Enterprise.